Welcome, everyone, to the Centurion Leadership Italian Show with Justin Bizarro. I'm Justin Ryan Bizarro. I'm your host. That's B I W Z A W R O. For anyone out there who wants to find us, you can find us on Spotify or wherever else you grow yourself through podcasts. I appreciate everyone listening in. I appreciate the downloads. I appreciate that everyone is having the patience to lead up to a bigger episode here, and that'll be a two part series um, on what is an identity crisis. Okay, it's a big topic, but everything that we are talking about is what leads up to an identity crisis, including this topic, which is today's topic is why is division bad? And I'm not talking about mathematics. I'm talking about humans. And the reason I'm not going to use the word people is because I believe even the word people is a dividing word. Bad people, good people, black people, white people, Asian people, Indian people. We attach it to a lot of negative things. We're humans. We're all humans. And if you attach a a adjective to it, a description, like white humans, black humans, we can see that it's wrong to do that, right? All of a sudden, it's like, oh, that doesn't sound right. Why? Because we're all humans. It doesn't need a description. It doesn't need a dividing word in front of it. We don't need to be broken down into black, white, purple, yellow, or green. I get it. Police need it. People need it. I hear all the things in the world. I just don't think so. Okay, and as I've done this episode, I've gotten a lot of feedback. I've heard from a lot of people. I, uh, I've i done my, my homework. I've listened to what people had to say. I understand what a hard topic this is, weirdly. But the way humans eat, the way... We are born, the colors of our skin, the religions we choose, the ethnicities in which we engulf are not things to divide us into subgroups. I'm going to give everyone the definition of division for this podcast, okay? And you can look it up online if you want to look it up. Just look up division, okay? And this is one of the the tricks the devil plays, Watch when people get into groups and claim a division word. When I take ownership of a division word, I'm dividing myself. When I call myself an Italian-American, both those terms, both Italian and American, are dividing words. Am I a U.S. citizen? Yes. Okay, do I live the American dream? Yes. But I do not call myself an American to divide myself from other people. It is what I'm associated with, and it is a very hard topic, and people are like, well, I am American. How else should I describe myself? You are a human of this planet. Okay? And the reason I'm going to talk about that is because things like this, this division, lead to extreme, extreme mental health issues. The more we divide, the more the mental health issues are. And whether we call it this or that or whatever, we have to be careful. I I don't want to go down this road yet. I'm going to give away the podcast. I almost gave away the podcast, so I'm going to hold off and not speak. That's why I'm hesitating. Let me give you the definition of division. The act of separating humans into subgroups, creating differences instead of finding commonalities, promoting differences rather than promoting commonalities. Okay, attraction is the humans, promotion is dividing us into groups. Again, why would we want to be divided in groups? Why would we identify with a group? Why do we want to be a subgroup of humanity? I don't know. It seems interesting to me. This is the part where I don't get humans. I don't get how most humans, we are illogical, even though we claim to be logical beings. What do I mean? How do we expect the world to be a better place and to do right by quote unquote our people if we're not doing right by all humans? I I have a respect for history. I have a respect for the struggle. 
I have a respect for what my family, my Native American history, my Italian history, my Pennsylvania Dutch history had to go through to get to this country, to get to build a better life, to get away from religious scrutiny, to get out of the troubles. And on the Native American side, you can see that maybe it's still going on. But again, those are dividing words I just used. They describe who I am and what I'm made of, but it's not me. I'm a human just like everyone else. There is really no different other than genetics. Okay, and all of us on this planet have different genetics from one to the other. So our differences far outweigh it, just the color of our skin, just the food that we eat, just the school that we go to, just the sports team that we're a fan of the country we inhabit. You know, and you'll understand how these things lead to identity crisis because if I'm a human and I'm a human of God or a human on this planet that's meant to be greater and take care of the world around me and grow it, take care of the animals in an angelic way, we are the angels here. We have the ability to take care of our planet in the way God intended, not in the way man intended. Then we have a chance to do better. But when we don't do that, when we divide, we are not doing God's work. We are not making the situation any better. And we are actually causing division, which does not bring humans together. It does not save the world. It does not bring God closer into our lives. And it creates an identity crisis in our soul. We feel like frauds. You want to talk about, you know, imposter syndrome. Start dividing yourself into a group. Start trying to fit in instead of belonging. You know where we belong? With other humans that have the same principles as us, which are usually morally, ethically, and core value based in positivity. Sometimes even fun. But when we start dividing ourselves into black groups and white groups and Asian groups and Italian groups and Greek groups, we are doing nothing but dividing and almost claiming one is better than the other. I get unity and I get the struggles that each race Each ethnicity has gone through. But when you divide people, you start to create a Nazi Germany. Divide the Jews out. They're the bad people. Let's put them in concentration camps. They're responsible. We'll blame them for society's wrongdoing. We'll blame them for our life. We'll blame. We talk about blame in one of the episodes previously. When you blame other people, you are dividing. You are not taking responsibility for who you are, for your principles. When we divide ourselves into groups, whether it's a vegan or carnivores, it does not matter. Those are, those are personalities. The color of our skin is a personality thing, not a principle. Our religion is a personality thing, not a principle. We're talking about principles over personalities. We will have that in a podcast as well. I will explain that further. But I'm dead serious about this. The more we divide ourselves into groups, the closer we get to the devil and the destruction of our world. And ultimately, wars that we can't even imagine. That in the rest of the world, because of division, there's genocides. Look at the Jewish concentration camps. I understand the struggles of our history. I understand my family and my history's struggles. I understand the genocides that took place. But those were because we divided people into blacks, into whites, into colors, into Native Americans. Sent them to Indian school to make them more white. Carlisle, Pennsylvania, look it up. There is an Indian school there to get Indians, Native Americans, to become more society-friendly, to fit in with white society, okay, at the time. That doesn't mean that I think that all societies are white or black or, or Native American. I'm just saying what the goal of that school was, okay? 
if we truly engulf all humans, then the the cream of the crop will rise. The best leaders will rise. The humans that will do the best will rise. Jesus will rise again, potentially, if you believe that. I don't think that that's the way it works, but I do believe that all of us are servant leaders. I do believe that all of us have a chance to lead better. But the minute we start dividing ourselves into Christians and non-Christians, and I've been baptized and you haven't, I've been saved by God and you haven't. I chose Jesus and you didn't. Therefore, I'm going to heaven and you're not. No, ain't wrong. It's not true. We're all humans. Stop dividing us based on our personalities and our personal choices. What are our principles? Do we care about the animals on this planet? Do we care about our children? Do we care about a better future? Do we care about regenerating our planet? Do the politicians we actually listen to create division, divide, or are they creating unity through humanity? Are the issues we're really talking about in politics and in social justice really the ones that are going to unify us and make our situations better? I will tell you, we've been doing this for thousands of years, and it hasn't improved shit. Not one goddamn day does it get better. There's still sex trafficking. There's still slavery. You want to divide us into groups, those who grew up in slavery, those who didn't, go back thousands of years. The Russians, half their population was enslaved by their own people. They were called serfs. There was no difference in color of skin to de- to decide who was a slave and who wasn't. They were all looked the same. Same for tens of thousands of years. We aren't doing any better by dividing people into groups. The way to combat this, I know this seems illogical, but is logical, is to embrace all humans, to spread light, to bring goodness to the world. You don't want to feel alone. Be human. Not a category. Not a subgroup. Not a people. I know everyone's going to get angry. I'm going to get a shitload of backlash on this one. I can take it, guys. Believe me. I've been bullied. I've been divided into a group. That's what bullying is, by the way. That's why I did an episode on it. Bullying, all that stuff. It's to divide you into groups. Who's good? Who's bad? Who's who's a fan favorite? Who's not a fan favorite? Who's popular? Who's not popular? That's what gossip is also. When we gossip about other people, we are putting them into subgroups. And we are basing it on their personalities, not their principles. It is freaking pathetic. It's pathetic. And it's even more pathetic that we do this in our relationships. That we listen to people that aren't actually in our relationships and we let them define people for us. I said people because what I'm saying is when we define people into subgroups or we call them names or we psychoanalyze them, we are creating groups, subgroups. They're all human. They're all God's children. Why would we gossip about them? Why would we allow people to say negativity about them? Okay? And there's humans, period. Most of us walk in the light. The ones who don't walk in the light, I'm sorry, they are disguised as sheep. They're wolves in sheep clothing. They are not lions. They are not gorillas. It's why in the next episode I talk about what does it mean to surround yourself by great people. Why should you surround yourself with great people? Lions. Gorillas. Not wolves. And I get the term of wolves and I get what it means and I get everyone wants to be a lone wolf. But just be careful of letting a wolf into your flock. Humans are the flock. The devil is the wolf. Dressed in sheep's clothing. Pretending to bring you into a group. 
pretending that he fits in, pretending that you will fit in with him. But he's not like anyone else. That's how the devil works in humans. It divides us turns us into people or persons business person entrepreneur i get it i get the labels i get we need descriptions when we're like oh what are you oh i'm an entrepreneur still dividing me into a subgroup well what does that mean you know before you know the last 10 years being an entrepreneur was a negative thing people joked around it you're gonna have no money for the rest of your life who are you you're not one of those guys Division. We've divided society. Why go in the opposite direction? Why continue to divide it? If we once divided everyone into groups, why continue to do it today? Why own that group? Why own it so much that now you're dividing? It's the devil at work. I know this is hard to believe. But being vegan or being a carnivore is a principle. It's not worth bragging about, and it's certainly not a race thing. Being a good entrepreneur has nothing to do with the color of my skin or the religion that I am. I grew up with good core values. I grew up with good principles, and I grew up with good ethics. Probably not from my family all the way. Most of it came from the Heights School And if you want to hear more about that, you can go listen to the Justin Ryan Bizarro show and listen to the episode I did with Ibu Tall from uh, Trademark Entertainment. Why is this important? Because we got to stop saying and doing things that divide us into groups. The leaders, no matter what color the skin is, no matter what type of food we eat, no matter what type of religion we are, will rise to the top. Jesus was not a Christian. He was a Jewish human. Okay? That was his personality. He didn't know he was going to create something as Christianity. We created that later. We started dividing everyone into groups. We emphasized the groups. That was not what he did. He was trying to unify everyone through principles. I really emphasize this, guys. How are we dividing people into groups in our lives? Are we doing it subconsciously? Are we doing it consciously? Are we creating groups with the purpose of dividing people? Are we entrepreneurs and leaders that are creating businesses and identifying in ways that create division? I get everyone wants money, but money is man-made. It's not made from God. It is something we created. And whether wealth or not having wealth, whatever, again, division. It is our choice and our personality. Some of us choose not to make money. Some of us choose to make more money. Some of us choose professions and things in life that happen to make more money. It is not something that should divide us or discriminate us. Whether I was born in one country or another should not matter whether I'm human. It should not make me more susceptible to sex trafficking or slavery or any of the things that still exist in the world. So when I'm talking about principles, if we want to fight slavery, we want to fight sexual abuse that happened to us as kids, we want to better our mental health, we got to stop saying I and take care of all humans, all of them, all eight and a half billion or whatever we are now, probably way more than that. I don't focus on that stuff. I don't even let, let things in that allow division into my life anymore. And I will tell you that this goes all the way into your homes and into your relationships. How do you identify your relationships? How do your friends of your spouses or significant others identify you to your spouse? Are they creating division based on your personality? I think that we're all humans. We are all flawed. But the flaw is not the color of our skin. The flaw is not the way that we eat. 
the flaws are the spiritual maladies, the insecurities that we're too afraid to admit and we cover up with things like division. Fear covered up by division. Strength in numbers. Get it. How about the biggest number of all? All humans. Every time we divide ourselves into groups, we further the devil's work. And we create a pattern that has continued for tens of thousands of years. And why do we do it? Because we want to group things. Because we want a place to belong. But all we're doing is really fitting in. You want a place to belong. Represent all humans. Own all humans. Don't use identifiers. Does not matter whether we're black, white, purple, yellow, red, green, brown. Does not matter. We all share the same principles and the same purpose, whether we take it on or not. It's to procreate and it is to grow the humans around us. And even if we don't procreate ourselves, we are to procreate knowledge and growth in all humans, regardless of the color of our skin, the way that we eat, the sports that we play, the universities that we went to, who our parents are, what country we came from. It is pathetic that we, during COVID, went after Asian people. They had nothing to do with it. They live in this country, in the United States, or whatever countries they were going on. It's pathetic. We go after Mexicans in the United States for taking our jobs. What are you talking about? They didn't do it. This is a human problem. Humans aren't willing to work. Therefore, there's human jobs available. Whoever's willing to come get it as humans. In Europe, it's the Turkish groups. They're coming in trying to take, they're taking jobs, trying to take jobs, taking good jobs. I say trying because there's discrimination. It's pathetic, guys. We can do better. We can do better as leaders. We can do better as entrepreneurs. We can do the best we can not to divide ourselves into groups. Stop it. And stop feeling like you belong because you're calling yourself the same thing as you are. I use it in my podcast. I say things like Italian American dream or Greek American dream. Those are all true. I am trying to get to a point on a principle, not a division. I have to be careful with that. But when we divide ourselves and we try to fit in, we keep fitting in, we keep fitting in whatever subgroups there are, bullying groups, popularity groups, color of our skin groups, the way we eat groups, our profession groups, okay? And we don't do it for the good of all humans. All. All. As soon as you put a dividing word in your title, you're you're done for. You're never going to last. I'm sorry. Your legacy is done. You don't realize it, but your legacy doesn't mean anything. Why Martin Luther King and Nelson Mandela do so well? Frederick Douglass... John F. Kennedy, even Donald Trump, he doesn't, they don't divide humans in the same way. Does Donald Trump have a dividing nature? In some ways, yes, but it's more based on principles. And I'm not a politician and I'm not going to vote for one way or the other. I don't want to start that. I don't even know what's going on in the world right now. I don't pay attention to the news because the news channels are division. Fox News dividing you on the right. You know, CNN dividing you on the left. Everyone else somewhere in between. True facts that I'm telling you, you know it in your heart. When you watch the news, you are putting yourself into a subgroup. Sorry, stop watching those news channels. How about live and be the news yourself? The good news. We have no impact on what other humans are doing in the world, and we get news, and it's mostly all bad, controversial, and created to divide us. 
true facts. Listen to what I am saying. Please think about what I am saying. I am Justin Bizarro. I am Justin Ryan Bizarro. I am a human of this planet. My goal is to be the greatest human that I can be, to achieve excellence over a lifetime by spreading positivity and goodness and light throughout the world. How do I do that? I grow the humans and the planet and the animals and everything within that around me. I understand what an animal's purpose is. I understand what a human's purpose is. And when I talk about procreation and creating a better world, that means taking care of the animals too so the future humans have those animals. To eat, to have as pets, to serve the functions that we will need them. Maybe even as we get off this planet and outgrow it, they come with us and they grow into flocks. But why do I say principles? Because I believe that at some point as we leave this planet, our plants are going to be the way we live until we Noah's Ark, meaning we only have a couple animals and they need to reproduce into populations for us to consume them or have them as pets on a different planet. I know Justin's talking outlandishly again. Of course I am. I'm a dreamer. I think big, really fucking big. But I am really angry about this. I'm angry about that it entered my home. I'm angry that it enters my life on a regular basis. I'm angry that even as I do this podcast and I have people that are around me and I coach and I mentor, they still divide themselves into groups. They still don't get the point. What is it that Jesus did? He didn't divide himself into a goddamn group. He tried to get everyone to see the right principles, the right core values, the right morals and ethics, and that everyone is human. If we are all possibly saved, if you're a Christian, then how isn't that all humans? Why dunking me in water does make me different than anyone else? I get the gist, and I am a Christian, But it's not true. It's to make us feel like we've changed and all of a sudden there's hope and faith. It does not make us different. It does not divide us into a different group. And we are not suddenly saved because of that. We are saved because we have a chance to do right by all humans. How do we save ourselves? Well, I guess sure focus on I put on my own mask before I put on someone else's. I got to lead me first before I lead others. However, that if I'm truly spreading positivity and I'm pollinating the world with positivity and good principles, it does not matter what the personalities are. I will tell you that there's a difference between vegans. There's a difference between carnivores. I'm a carnivore, but the guy next to me, I may not get along with him. Why? Even though he's a carnivore. Even though he might be the exact same as me, Italian-American, eats the same diet, lives the same life, is an entrepreneur, is in food, maybe my exact bizarro, my doppelganger, in every way possible. But if he doesn't have or she doesn't have the same principles, they are not me. I'm in a group with them by today's standard. I'm that person, the same person as them, so put me in that group. But I don't share the same principles as a lot of these individuals who I get identified with. Period. How can you think otherwise? Like, really, if you're a logical, smart human, how can you not see that dividing us into groups is the devil at work? It creates division, differences. We are all different. I don't care. The same guy I just talked about, he may look exactly like me. We're still genetically different. Regardless of our skin tone, regardless of our hair color, even if he were my exact brother, still genetically different. We're all different. Stop pointing it out. That's what makes us beautiful. That's what makes us different. That's what makes us athletes. That's what makes us leaders. Those genetic differences and then the principles and the seeds that were implanted at us that most of us don't ever follow in a lifetime. It's sad, guys. 
It's sad that we're going to waste our lives dividing ourselves into groups. So sad that humans continue to do this and not learn our lessons, not after World War II, not after what happened with the Jews during World War II, the Jewish people, the Jewish humans. Okay, I divided them into a group by saying it, but I don't know how else to tell you. The Georgians, the Russians genocide them recently. Syria, genocide. Palestine, Israel, everyone killing everyone, divided into groups. Can't we all humans just live on the same holy land? There's a thought, a true democracy. Who cares what religion you are? Wow. How about we all just get to practice our personalities in any way we want to, but stop dividing us into groups? It's hard because we get tied to religions. We get tied to the color of our skin. We get tied to our family backgrounds because we often take the principles and the ethics and attach it to where we're from or that I'm an Italian-American, therefore I have different principles. While that may be true, it's the principles that are different. It's not because I'm Italian-American. It's not because I'm living the American dream only. That is a mindset. It's a principle. Not because I'm American. Not because I'm a subgroup. Italian-American is a mindset. We shouldn't use it as a subgroup. I have to do a better job of this myself. But it will lead to identity crisis. It will lead to mental health issues. And it will lead to the problem getting worse. And everyone's like, oh, of course the problem's going to get worse before it gets better. Well, it's been a shit long, long fucking time. Fucking centuries. Millenniums. <laughs> Ain't getting any fucking better. Read your history. Read your facts. Read the Bible. Do your homework. See what division does to this world. And slavery wasn't based on the color of skin only. Like I told you, the Russians enslaved their own people. They were called serfs. Thousands of people are still enslaved today. Hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions. Especially in the sex trade. Especially in sex trafficking. And it doesn't matter where they're from doesn't matter if they're from America or they're from Russia or they're from Asia. Thailand, as example. So I won't unify Asia as one group. I don't want to subgroup Asia. They're humans. Thailand. Doesn't matter what country we're from. Doesn't matter what our personalities. Doesn't matter if we're born rich or poor. You still could end up in sex trafficking. Your kids could still end up in sex trafficking. I know that scares a lot of people, but you should do the numbers. We are dividing ourselves into groups, and groups go to war. Groups destroy humans, and everyone can argue there's economic, intelligence, medical, scientific, all sorts of things that, that happen and advancements that happen because of war. But there's also when we are actually unified as humans that good things happen and we're able to get over and have discussions outside of our personalities. Whether we get along with someone or not has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. Do I share the same principles as them? Am I dividing us into groups? Am I creating friction? Am I creating war? Because it's funny to me how you can we can say that we care about humans and we care about our fellow people, but yet we're dividing. You aren't caring about them. You're creating animosity. That's not creating anything. That's not creating peace of mind. That's certainly not creating a place of belonging. You're claiming that they fit in or we fit into this group. I've done it. Believe me. It's not true. I don't see race at all, honestly. Does not matter to me. I don't know why. Never have. Went to good schools. Was in diverse environments. Quote, unquote, diversity. Surrounded myself by good people. I cared about whether they were good humans. Whether they had the same principles. It's always been the way I was as, since a kid. I did not care about the personalities. I did not care whether they were popular or not. 
I cared whether they had the principles of being a good human. There should be only two groups, guys. Good humans and bad humans. And bad humans that are trying to be good humans. Okay? We all have it. We all have a chance at being good humans. It does not matter what group we're in. And if we really want to help society and our neighborhoods and our communities and quote unquote our people, you embrace all humans from a principal standpoint. Period. Thank you everyone for listening in. I'm Justin Bizarro. That's B I Double Z A Double R O. You can find me on Instagram at Justin Bizarro or on Facebook at Justin Bizarro. You can also find us on Instagram at Centurion.Battalion. Again, we are not populating that page right now. We are just starting to build it and figure out how to move it forward. Also, as I do this and we we build this, I am building groups to help do this. Gorilla Brave is a new group that will be out there. It'll take me a few months from recording this to get it off the ground, but it is for humans that share principles of bringing good to the world, particularly through food, okay? And do I divide people by calling us food entrepreneurs? A little yes. But again, I'm embracing all humans. There's no dividing factor other than a profession, and maybe that's a personality, and maybe it's because I'm in food, but we are subdividing in that way. And maybe other people would argue that dividing by race, dividing by religion does that. I don't think so. I don't think it's for the purpose of spreading good. If it were, it would be working. And it's not working. It's not bettering our communities. It's not bettering our society. As an entrepreneur, I will tell you when something is bettering the world, you see it gain momentum. You see it providing solutions. We're not providing solutions. And number of people gathering or identifying or trying to fit into what you're saying is not a success indicator. It's whether or not good is actually happening. Jesus was one person based on principles not personalities. And his impact generates everyone of a lot of different colors, of a lot of different ethnicities, of a lot of different eating personalities. Stop dividing. Start unifying all humans for the good of the humans that live on this earth the animals that inhabit it, and everything that we need to do to regenerate and create a better future for us and everything on this planet. Stop trying to find purpose in creating subgroups and realize you're part of the greatest group ever, humans. We have mind, body, soul, heart. All of us. We can do a better job. Again, thank you, everyone. I'm Justin Bizarro, B I W Z A W R O. You can find me on Instagram or anywhere else on social media at Justin Bizarro. You can also find us on Spotify, this podcast, or anywhere else you grow yourself through podcasts. And you can find Justin and the Food Entrepreneurs, the Night Dasher, D A S H O R, with Justin Bizarro, and, um, the Justin Ryan Bizarro show all on Spotify. Thank you everyone for listening in. I love you guys. I apologize that this was a hard episode, but it's the truth and all of us know it. And you know, when we're dividing ourselves into the right groups and the wrong groups. And if you don't know that fucking ask me, I will be a filter for you. Think logically. If you want to raise up any group, The best thing to do is raise up all humans, period. I'm out.